Time now for the OIO Prep Profile, and we get a chance to spotlight Columbus Grove senior quarterback Reed Steckschulte, who led his team to a come-from-behind overtime win last week and then led both his Bulldogs and his rival Pandora Gilboa Rockets in post-game prayer. He called it the best part of his night, a journey that may well have began, began in the offseason with his football coach. <laughs> This winter, uh, Coach Schaefer and Coach Teal started doing like these little leadership meetings. Like we were trying to, like our school has been asking for leaders for quite a while. So, kind of thought that we'd have some breakfast and discuss some leadership things. And it was it was cool to have some coaches that like like you like some people said earlier. It's like you usually just talk about X's and O's in football, but it's it's more like meaningful when you start talking about your actual relationship with God too mm -hmm. in the middle of it. And so at the end of one of the meetings, he asked the guys, he's like, if anybody's interested in going to Haiti, there's an opportunity to open it up this summer. And I've never been on a mission trip before. And so I just thought it was a great opportunity to finally do one. So, I mean, I had a blast with these guys too. We were talking about servant leadership in our leadership meeting, and, and, and I had just been asked to go to, uh, to Haiti and just kind of threw it out there and just in conversation, kind of not expecting them to say yes. And, and they did along with one of my assistants. I'm like, oh, wow, okay, let's go. So it was just us three guys and a couple of coaches and some other people from their church. So, I mean, it was definitely a different experience, and it was, it was much easier because, like, because us and our coaches have such a great relationship. When Steck Schulte, his teammates and coaches, returned from Haiti, they had some bad news waiting for them as Coach Andy Schaefer's father was diagnosed with a brain tumor needing surgery on Tuesday. One of the neatest things that happened was um, Monday night, our, our first football camp, um, unexpectedly these, these guys and, and a couple other guys kind of came came up to me and said, Coach, I, I want to I pray for you. I want to pray for your dad. And <laughs> me and my assistant coach said, this, this is awesome. Not, not only are these three uh, praying for me, but even more people. And uh, so it was, it was a neat experience, and, and I appreciated that uh, almost even more than the, the trip. 